When you're working with sounds, you don't always have to put something on the entire sound. You can select a portion of that sound, certain frequencies, and only affect those. So don't always think about putting an effect on the entire frequency range. Sometimes you might want to put chorus just on the top end. Sometimes you might want to put just the low end in mono. So in keeping with that, I'm going to show you some guitars from my friend Flavio. Uh, really cool song, really, really cool sounds. Uh, by the way, Jason Joshua mentioned this technique on bass on his last appearance on Pensado's Place. But what I'm going to show you is how to take just a certain frequency that we select on the guitar itself and only make that frequency wide. So rather than making the entire guitar wide, we're going to make just one frequency. Let me show you the guitar sound. Here we go. Okay, here's the 160 on the guitar, one of my favorites. I love this plugin. A little bit of EQ. You know what's funny? Sometimes a month later, you, you, you do the before and after on your EQ and you thought you were changing music and it doesn't really sound that drastic. That's kind of cool. And then a little bit of jalapeno, sriracha sauce, or however like you say that sauce. <laughs> You hear the word glue tossed around with compressors. That's kind of what this is doing. This is just a brick wall limiter. Now I'm sending, I'm sending these four yellow guitar tracks into this aux right here. Something cool about this is the mid range on guitars is what you're selling. So here's without the mid range emphasized. Here's with it emphasized. My favorite tool for that is an API 150. The Waze one is great. UAD is great. And of course, I have some real ones. Now, let's get to what, what, what we are all uh, here for. Here's Ozone 5. This is just the uh, one section of Ozone 5. This is the um, stereo imager. Now, we can divide this into four bands. Every, there's a lot of imagers that work really well. This one, this is one, one of my favorites. So. Uh, it, we're not going to really do anything here. Let me show you what I've got. Pay attention to band three, this green one. That's this frequency range from 1.2 to 5.3. To Here's the frequencies below it. Here's the frequencies above it. Now, when I push this fader up, it's going to widen just this frequency that we soloed originally. So watch this. Without it, with it. Now, if, now if we could have just as easily done this one. Not as dramatic. Let's try this one. Here's what it is wide. Straight up and down, wide. Hard to tell what it's doing, but let's exaggerate and see what happens. All the energy is in this frequency right here. And I want you to hear that frequency again because that's where the that's where the imagery is. That's where the the heart of that sound resides. That's all you need to work with, guys. Let me spread that again. That's pretty cool. Next time.